it's Debbie Marino from Prophetics Gallery in North Carolina, and I'm here with Penny Wynn from New Mexico, one of our artists with the gallery. And um, we're going to be talking with Penny and just uh, learning a little bit more about her and her studio and what she does, and a little bit more about uh, why she creates, what's the why behind what she does. So hi, Penny, welcome. Hi, Debbie. Thank you so much for having me. I'm so glad to be here today. It's a beautiful day here in New Mexico, and uh, I'm sure it's the same in uh, North Carolina. It looks sunny there. Yeah, it's a little sunny. We've had um, some clouds rolling in now, but it's gotten a little bit warmer. We're in the 60s right now, so I don't know how it is in New Mexico. What's the temperature there? You know, it was about 35 this morning, but uh, it looks like it's going to be maybe in the 50s, 60s today, too. So. Oh, good. Okay. <laughs> Not bad, not bad. Well, tell us a little bit more about yourself, Penny, and why you create, and, and maybe go into a little bit about what you're working on now and some of the pieces that you have in our studio already, so or in our gallery. Go ahead and tell us a little bit more. So I have actually been a, a watercolor artist for about mm, nine years now. And I started painting after I retired uh, from the schools. And before that, I was in the army. And uh, I was doing uh, art for pain management. I uh, was injured in the war. And I would have terrible issues with pain. And so I just started doing it to uh, kind of control my pain. And so I didn't get... Uh, you know, into, uh, you know, the drugs that they give you in the VA, they, they help you a lot with pain, but I really didn't want to do that. And so I started going to, uh, what's funny is they were Bob Ross classes. Uh, uh -huh. So I never really had any formal training with art. And so I just thought, oh, I could do this. Well, I started working on canvases. And what do you do with all those canvas? if they don't sell. And so I started then working in watercolor because you can store paper. Mm -hmm. And so I worked with paper and over the years, I just got maybe good enough that I could sell my work. And uh, so my work uh, kind of got out there and, and I have always had um this knowledge that uh you know that that i could listen to god and uh god you know god is in you and god is always part of you and so i i i i know that god is always part of my art and so it's just out there and and so i listen and so I do a lot of my work is is uh, nature. I, I do do uh, people in my art as well, but pretty much I'm a wildlife artist. And so I create uh, different uh, animals. This is this is one that I'm creating now. Uh, so I, I work, uh, I always do my animals first or my people first. Uh, because if, if it's destroyed, you know, you don't have to worry about the backgrounds. But uh, I work a lot. Uh, I, I'll, I'll pull it a, in a little closer. So you, you kind of work in your backgrounds first, and then you add your furs. And, and, you know, you really work on the eyes and the nose. Because if you miss those up, you know, you, you kind of, you could throw those away. It looks like a photograph. Uh, it's so beautiful. Oh, thank you so much. Uh, this is another one that uh, I actually there's a, a video on these on the technique of this uh, where you know the the, the fur and everything else of uh, it it takes hours and hours and hours to to really uh, work on the fur and the eyes. The, when I was working on this little box, uh, I was working on the eyeballs and. My husband came in, my husband Lyric, and he came in and he goes, it just looks so sad. You got to work on that. And so I just, you know, you change the eyes and you add some light, you add some color and, and you just pull it in. And 
this this guy, I don't know why I really struggled on him, but he just, uh, I changed his color, I changed the background, I changed all kinds of things. But I, I have to tell you, I throw a ton of paintings away. Oh, they just get thrown away because they just aren't, you know, what what you want them to be or maybe what you think they should be. But, you know, that's, that's the nature of art. It's all about creating and, and doing fun things and, you know, and, and, you know, maybe it's like a, a little oh. whimsical painting, you know, you know, seahorses, they're, they're just little tiny creatures, but you can make them become big or colorful, or maybe they're not exactly what they should be. Or, you know, I have uh, this kingfisher, oh, you sorry. know, mm -hmm. and the kingfisher, you know, they're, they're just a, a little bird too, but you can make them creative or, or fun or, or add a little extra color, or this is where you can have fun with the background. You know, the background can be anything that you want. You know, in this uh, little fox here, you, you create a different background yeah. to add a little whimsy to what the fox is doing. Um, or in in these horses. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, thank you. <laughs> love horses, of course. My oh yeah. Um, you know who doesn't love a horse? You know, I I had a ranch and we we had horses on our property, and you know you just get to know them so well. You know, and so even though the horses are maybe a little different, you know, kind of like I was saying with the eyes, the eyes have to be there, but everything else can just be fun and and playful. Yeah, you know, beautiful. and you know, and, and or you know, the koala is you know, it's all different and and fun and playful. Yeah. So I think you know that you can do all kinds of of oh, different. Yeah. You know, they they're fun and they're they're good, and so a lot of my art, I think, you know, it's it it may be all you know, just exacting here, but then it's not, you know, there's a lot of things that are just so, and I don't know, this one I did, and, and it is, uh, it's a memorial painting, uh, because of the poppies in the field, and I'm a veteran of, of the foreign war, and so this one is is a memorial painting for the war, um, and so it's it's a little bit different for me, um, even though it, it it would never happen. No one would allow the horses to run through a poppy field, you know. So it's it's a little whimsy too. Um, have, you, have you found um, any of the veterans um, relating to that particular piece or, or um, and any testimonies from any of the work that you've done that it's really touched someone's heart. I know that I'm just looking at these and I'm sure our audience is saying the same thing. Oh my goodness, it's nature and it's bringing such peace and joy just looking at it and so surreal. Oh, it's just gorgeous. So I was just wondering any testimonies that you might have. So, um... I have a few pieces in in the Veterans Hospital. Oh. I have I have pieces throughout the United States that are in uh, in fixed uh, in fixed places. So I in the in the Veterans Hospital in Puget Sound, mm -hmm. uh, they have a mental wing, and so I have a, a few pieces that are in fixed, um, I, I don't know what they would call it, but in their hospital wing, yes. they had things that are just donated. And so I have like five pieces that are in there. I do have one, let's see if we can like put this up here this way. Um, I don't know if you can see that piece. Oh, yes, okay. So that is, uh, it's not great light. Is that better? Yep, that's a little better. And we can zoom in a little bit, yeah. So tell us what that is a picture of or- a So that is the Gulf War. So I was in the oh. Gulf War. 
I see and these. Yeah, the helicopter now in the, the helicopter and the tank and the medevac. So wow. I flew medevac in the war. Oh wow! Okay. And so at the 25th anniversary of the war, um, for that, for the veterans art exhibit, I painted that piece for. Uh, there was a great big celebration for the 25th anniversary for the war. And so I painted that piece for the celebration, for the memorial, for, for veterans who were suffering from Gulf War illness as a reminder of the war. And so Wonderful. that piece uh, was, um, as a memorial for that. And so I, I did it uh, for, the, for the soldiers. I have another piece uh, that I did uh, that is also for soldiers uh, for their memorial, which is a, a soldier who is with his dog. Uh, he's, he's bending down, uh, kissing his dog. Uh, and it's an, um, Afghani soldier, or, or it's our soldier who is in Afghanistan. Okay. And so I did that, um, I think two years ago. Oh. Um, then for this year, uh, I think it might be in this pile. Great. Uh, this year it was the pandemic. And so oh, okay. I did a girl in the field. I guess it's in the other room. So it's not here in this pile, but the other the soldiers in the other room too. So, uh, yeah, I do, I do memorial uh, paintings all of the time, um, mainly for the the VA. I yeah. paint for the VA all the time. Um, I give, I give paintings away all of the time. I don't think that they should be kept. I think, uh, you know that. They are part of us and, and we give them uh, to be part of the world. And so uh, it's my honor to, to give them and, and share them with everyone. And what a blessing, because honestly, um, we found that with our gallery, um, many artists like Penny um, do create and often give pieces away that bring such healing to people. And obviously Penny has done a wonderful job with the VA and many of our war veterans, you know, so many of them suffer from post-traumatic stress disorder and anxiety and, and fear. And, you know, they have those replays in their mind that just come back from the war and it's so difficult for them. So I really commend Penny in doing that. And that is what our gallery is about. It's not just a typical art gallery. It's a gallery that really, you know, sows in hope and healing to people through the art. Um, the artist actually tells a story of, of healing um, for, for many. Um, even the artists themselves have gone through healing, just painting the pieces that they paint. And they talk about those stories too. I'm sure Penny might have a few pieces that really spoke to her as she was creating them and how, how God really uses that art, just like music and theater. Um, he uses art and it's the universal language, really. It touches all people. It does not have um you know you know you don't have to speak english or whatever it's a visual thing and so so many people are touched by it so uh yeah any stories penny about how maybe one particular piece really touched your heart as you were painting it there is a piece uh that was truly cathartic for me um there is a hospital forks hospital um they have it's it's a room uh, that they tell their families um, uh, that the, the, the family's members are dying yeah. or if they have passed on or if they're getting cancer or whatever. It's the room that they go to for mourning. Oh, and gosh. in that room, there is one piece uh, that I've never sold prints or anything, but it is an angel that I painted for that room. 
and there are some swans in that room that I've never sold anything for. But in that room, uh, I, I was having a particularly bad, uh, as you said, PTSD moments. Um, and I painted uh, the, the, the angel for that room. And it, it truly was a cathartic piece for me of, of healing and, and uh, just peace. And uh, yeah, just just giving it to the hospital and having them put it in that room and 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 have it a healing piece for everyone who goes in there really was a, a wonderful uh, uh, just a, a, a place of, of of peace for me and and knowing that it will always be in there for them yeah. is is a, a wonderful thing. Wonderful, so amazing. It's amazing how art can touch lives, not only the artists, but so many people that view it. So I just commend you in doing that. Well, so much um, incredible pieces that you've shown us today. Is there anything else that, um, that you might like to show or anything else that you'd like to add? Um, I, I don't know if you would like to see the rest of the studio, I can, yes, I can show studio. it to you. You know, I, I live on a, a lavender farm and- okay. <laughs> I am like totally blessed. So let's see if I can show you. So this is my studio. Oh, it's beautiful. So oh. I am like so blessed because I have all of this amazing light. And it, I don't know if you can like off my shoulder there, you can see the door and that door goes out to the deck, which is the lavender farm. Oh. And so I am probably one of the luckiest, most blessed artists ever. <laughs> I, unlike most, I, I have a lot of space. I have this incredible light. Um, and I, I talked to Debbie earlier today and I said, we have to do it really early because my studio fills with so much light that you can't do a Zoom call because it it wouldn't work. It just Claire, yeah. fills. Um, That's but beautiful. it's it's so amazing. I I can go and sit on my little couch and sketch and draw out what I'm doing. And uh, the one thing with watercolor is that you have to like paint. Uh, like you can see, I've got. I've got the little giraffes, I've got the, the lions. Um, and the reason for that is that you have to have one drawing. What are, you draw one, then you paint one, then you're painting another because they have to be drying. Oh yeah. And then uh, the one that I, the little fox that I was showing, he's getting ready to be matted. I have a big show coming and I've got 20 paintings that are being matted and framed. And uh, so, and where Everything. is your show going to be? So it's at the Cancer Center in uh, Albuquerque. And Wonderful. yeah, they, I, I wanted, I, I, this is, I, I don't know, I, I choose where I put my, my uh, paintings and I, I like to make sure that my, the money that is going to good proceeds. And so, yeah, yeah so it's, uh, it's going to a good cause. And so. Now, will yeah. this be open to the public, I'm assuming? so. Amazingly, yeah. They opened New Mexico. Okay. And so Wonderful. this is the, the, it's a huge show. And so they're going to have, um, I think she said 485 paintings there. Wonderful. Wow. Yeah, it's the largest gallery in New Mexico. So give us the location if you can again, so that people can, um, you know, if they're in that area, can go and visit. And yeah, it's at 4900 Lang Street at okay. the Northwest Cancer Center uh, in Albuquerque, New Mexico. And it will be running from the 25th of May until the 2nd of August. Wonderful. That's a long time. Okay. Yeah. So audience... Feel free to go visit. I think it's yeah, wonderful. Yeah, 
Yeah. And they're all for sale and it will go for charity yeah. for the cancer. It goes, it goes to the cancer society here oh, in, uh, in New Mexico. So yeah, it's, it's really a good cause. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. And you can always, I always have stuff at, at the, the static gallery in, in Madrid, New Mexico and, and go see Madrid. Madrid is so much fun. Yeah. Oh yeah. my goodness. Yeah. Um, and then, and look at Debbie's stuff at, at yes. uh, Pathetic Gallery and Inspired yeah, and the Inspired Guild because yes. it's so good. Yes, thank you. I'll give you the address uh, or the uh, the website address. It's Prophetic Gallery and that's spelled P-R-O-P-H-E-T-I-C-S Gallery, all one word, dot com. And then we just started a new website with a lot of our artists and Penny has some of her work in there where we put it on different types of items such as um, techie items like computer cases and cell phone cases. And, and then we have items for the home, uh, apparel. We have apparel start, starting from infancy sizes, toddlers up to adults. And so we'll have different clothing there. And um, so there's, there's just so much to choose from. We also have watches and uh, jewelry boxes and things of that sort. We're always adding new pieces. So that is with inspiredguild.com and that's inspired and um, I-N-S-P-I-R-E-D guild, G-U-I-L-D.com. And so visit both places. Um, we encourage you to buy their great gifts from for all different types of occasions. And it's all art that is exclusive with our gallery. And, um, and we're just really excited that um, these artists have allowed us to show their work. But, uh, but thank you, Penny. We really appreciate your coming on today. And um, I just really ask God to bless you and continue. I know Penny was just recently featured in a magazine. Um, oh, yeah. Conte Nast, I'm trying to remember. Yeah, Conte Nast, it's the, the British Vogue, British Vogue yeah. magazine. Yeah, had my art in it. Yeah, so exciting. Mm -hmm. And so God's really expanding her territory and more and more people are getting to know her work and she's she's getting out there. And we're just so honored to have her with our gallery. But thank you, Penny, for coming on again. And we wish you well. And tell us how mm -hmm. the show goes. And uh, and like I said, get to Penny's show if you're near New Mexico, Arizona area. I'm sure you can get over there, even Colorado. That's not too far. Yeah. So thanks, Penny. I appreciate it. All God right. Bless. Thank you. All right. God bless. Bye. God bless. Okay. Bye.